Hello, and thank you for viewing our Sangfer Proxy Avoidance Protection demo. Proxy Avoidance Protection is implemented using either the Sangfer Next Generation Application Firewall or Sangfer Internet Access Gateway. Working with Sangfer Endpoint Secure to block anti-proxy, anonymous proxy, and VPN software from running on the endpoints. Today, we will demonstrate how IAG integrates with Endpoint Secure to create and enforce security policies to block anti-proxy or proxy avoidance tools. Let's take a look at the network topology for this demo. Here, we have deployed IAG at the edge of the network, Endpoint Secure Manager on the intranet, and the Endpoint Secure Agent on the PC. Now, let's explore how proxy tools work and the risks proxy tools expose us to. Proxy agents commonly open an enterprise up to several risks. First, proxies allow users to bypass the network security perimeter undetected. This means potentially malicious traffic can pass in and out of the network without being inspected by the firewall or IPS. Proxies provide malicious content such as viruses, phishing, ransomware, spyware, and crypto miners undetected access into the internal network and systems. This allows the stealthy installation of malware and APTs that cause data leakage and other kinds of breaches. Lastly, proxies enable bandwidth abuse and corporate compliance violations. Internet bandwidth can be very expensive, and unauthorized use can drain bandwidth away from business-critical applications, such as e-commerce servers, that cannot handle as many connections as normal because someone gigabytes of pirated videos. We see here how proxy tools work. Some proxy tools allow for anonymous use without the need for a registered account or password. You can see that this proxy tool automatically opens a web page displaying your current IP address. This IP address indicates where traffic passes through the remote proxy server, not the user IP address. Now, let's configure a proxy avoidance protection policy. First, we need to configure Endpoint Secure Manager to talk to IAG. By default, Endpoint Secure does not allow access from other devices. Before IAG can access Endpoint Secure, we need to enable the Device Access option on the Endpoint Secure Manager. Now that Device Access permissions have been enabled on Endpoint Secure, it's time to configure IAG. To configure the Endpoint Secure integration within IAG, we only need to enter the IP address of Endpoint Secure Manager. Next, configure the anti-proxy policy. Here we've enabled proxy detection by selecting the proxy tool we want to block. Once we have configured the Endpoint Secure Anti-Proxy Policies, we will verify that it's working correctly. You can see that when the Anti-Proxy Policy went into effect, all proxy connections were automatically closed. When we try to manually run the proxy tool, we can see it's been blocked by the Endpoint Secure agent. Endpoint Secure has simultaneously issued a pop-up warning box to indicate that it is blocked a proxy tool. Finally, let's take a look at the Endpoint Secure log. In the Endpoint Secure Manager log, you can see the record of the policy issued by IAG to Endpoint Secure Manager. Endpoint Secure Manager has logged the interception of the proxy tool on IAG. The IP address of the blocked PC and proxy tool is displayed on IAG. Log into the Report Center to see a detailed log. Thank you for joining us today and learning how Sangfer Internet Access Gateway and Endpoint Secure work together to protect enterprise networks from the risk of proxies. Contact Sangfer for more information and let Sangfer make your IT simpler, more secure, and valuable.